Rename a job in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins controller version 2.361.2, and I already have a job predefined on this controller. Now, if you look at this job, you can see it's named job one. Not very descriptive. Let's go ahead and take a look at the job and let's figure out what it's really doing. So in this case, what we have is just a hello world type job. Now, again, this is a very contrived example, but follow me through this process so you can think about how you might want to go ahead and name some of your jobs. So let's go back up and let's assume for a moment that I want to go ahead and name this hello. Well, we'll go back to job one and on the left nav, you'll see rename. So let's change job one to hello. Okay, I like that. And if I take a look now, I can see job one has been renamed to hello. And I can also see that my URL also is hello. Well, hello is fine, but it's not really exactly what I want. Can you guess where I'm going next? Let's make it hello world. So let's rename hello to hello space world. When we click on rename, we can see the pipeline is hello space world. But if you look up in the URL, I also see a space here. That's not really what I want. In fact, I, if I click into it again, that could be really hard to work with from CLIs or using curl or wget. So for my URL, I really want to put in a hyphen. So let's go ahead and rename our job one more time here. Let's change this to dash. I click on rename and now my pipeline is named hello dash world. If I look up in my URL, it's also a hello dash world. That's exactly what I wanted, but really it's still not what I want. Now at hello world, I'm okay with here, but looking at my dashboard, I see hello dash world. Well, really what I want to show, especially when I'm on the dashboard view in this case, is I want to give this a more human friendly name. Instead of a URL friendly name, I want to have a human friendly name. Well, let's go into our job and click on configure and let's scroll down to advanced. Now, depending on which job that you're using, this next field, which is called display name, may show up in different places. Sometimes it'll be exposed, sometimes it will be under advanced. So in this case, what I want to have is I want to say, hello world from the universe. And let's click on save. We can see here that our pipeline name now is hello world from the universe, but our project name or our job name is still hello dash world. So if we take a look up in the URL, it's still hello dash world, but in the breadcrumb, we see the full display name that we just typed in. And in fact, when we go back to the root of our dashboard, we can see hello world from the universe. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.